What's good everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Eternity from 900 Global. Here's the numbers. You're hitting that subscribe button now. All right, let's go. Let's start here. This is not a reissue of the Altered Reality. You'll hear that from a lot of people because the Altered was a beloved release before the USB-C ban, but they're just not the same. Yes, they share a cover stock in the S84 Pearl, this time finished with reactive gloss, but the engine inside of the Eternity is the Epoch core, which is weaker than the Disturbance core used in the Reality line. And that change in core had me really, really excited. I have a ton of success with these slightly asymmetrical options, so we decided to put a 4.5x5x4 2LS layout on it, similar to the layout we put on the Exotic Gym, as it just seems to be that option that works best for me to see what the balls got. Basically, I knew I would match up well with the design intent of this piece, so I didn't want to get in the way of that with a weird layout. And on the lanes, I was just overjoyed with this shape. When I can throw strong equipment on high ratio conditions, I absolutely love it as I can really focus on just keeping my hand behind it and my feet ahead of transition. The S84 Pearl cover stock is one of the strongest pearl covers I have ever seen and actually seems to use the React Gloss finish well, especially when compared to some of the other releases using that same finish. And comparing this Epoch core to the Disturbance core, the mid lane transition from hook to roll is way more even as the Disturbance core is more aggressive and torquey. Each of those reactions has its place as I also love my reality check, but they are certainly different. The thing that stood out the most about this shape though is that the ball just never seemed to miss the roll phase of its motion. One thing about playing this much angle is that it's much more likely to have the ball fly past the break point, but with this combination of core and cover, it took a long time for me to find that no fly zone. It's a little cleaner than the hybrid reality check, and if you can see it right, having those two pieces in the same arsenal could be a deadly combination. But here's the best part about the Eternity. If you're one of those bowlers that wants the biggest hooking ball they can find, this is actually the one. Unlike most of the very strong options out there, this piece will definitely allow and probably force you to the inside part of the lane without doing the strong ball thing and rolling out before getting to the pocket. It's kind of the best of both worlds. So with that, here's the two types of bowlers I think will match up really well with this piece. The first is your traditional tweener. Those that have a prototypical ball roll and average rev rate will be able to use this piece early, often, and for long stretches as they'll be able to chase the shape inside as transition comes up. The second is, well, everyone's seeking a top line option to fill out their arsenal. Maybe you need something to complement your reality or gym, or you want a pearl option stronger than your Zen or Night Road. This Eternity puts together versatility and reliable strength so that it will fit in just about anyone's bag. So sure, it might be similar to the previously released Altered Reality, but this type of performance deserves a name and reputation all its own as it's sure to help you push your success on the lanes to new heights. And you can pick this up today and much more at BowlersParadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Shout out to Striking Edge Pro Shop for the layout and drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a Bowler's Paradise. Peace.